My dear children, I have a story to tell you. A cautionary tale told to me by one Miss Mary Howitt. It involves two well-known characters. One Mr. A. Rachnid and the other Lady Deptera. Will you walk into my parlor? said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that you ever did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair, and there are many curious things to show you when you are there. Oh no, no, said the little fly, to ask me is in vain, for whoever goes up your winding stairs can ne'er come down again. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed? said the spider to the fly. The curtains are sweetly drawn together. The sheets are fine and thin. And if you care to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh no, no, said the little fly, for I've often heard it said, they never, never come down again who rest upon your bed. Said the cunning spider to the fly, dear friend, what can I do to prove my warm affections I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. You are more than welcome. Won't you please take a slice? Oh no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be, for I've heard what's in your pantry and I do not care to see. Sweet creature, said the spider. You're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings. How brilliant are your eyes. I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf, and if you step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you're pleased to say, and bidding you good morning now, I'll call another day. The spider then turned round about and went into his den, for well, he knew that silly fly would soon come back again. So he wove a subtle web into a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing, come hither, hither, little fly, with a pearl and silver ring. Your robes are green and purple, there's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. Alas, alas, how very soon this silly little fly Hearing his wily, flattering words came slowly fluttering by. With buzzing wings, she hung aloft, the near and nearer drew, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue, thinking only of her crested head. Poor foolish thing, at last. Up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlor. But she never came down again. And now, my dear children, who may this story read? To idle, silly, and flattering words, I pray you never give heed. Unto an evil counselor, close heart and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly.